it is the end of week 11 of 2021 so I thought now is as good of time as any to start doing a weekly garden tour not your typical garden tour at this point because uh, it's still a frozen tundra outside but as I grow inside hydroponically there are still things to look at and actually there's actually things to look at outside so let's take a look So hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kiri Martin and I'm just a city girl who wishes she was a country girl who is currently living in the burbs. And if this is your first time here, then hello and welcome. On this channel we talk about all things micro home setting with a twist because as I mentioned in the intro, I grow indoors as well as outdoors. So a lot of my growing is done hydroponically. So. If that seems like something that you would be interested in, if you want to become more self-sufficient and less reliant on the grocery store for your food and vegetables and, you know, learning, doing a couple of DIYs along the way, then go ahead and hit subscribe and the notification bell so you will know when I post videos in the future. So we'll start here with my rice garden. This is actually a habanada pepper that I grew in here originally and then transplanted. So what do we have going on in the rise so first we have some micro hat tomato these guys will only grow to about six to nine inches tall um i'm trying to go some of my um mini bell peppers but they are not doing much right now so i've got a germination test going on downstairs hoping to get some of those to grow a little bit of dill that i actually saved from the garden some cilantro here we have some uh, Regina strawberries, so they're a red alpine strawberry. My first time growing stevia. And at the back, we have some Paris Island cause lettuce. So that's everything in my personal rise garden. Um, this thing is so damn pretty. I have a link down below for a coupon code that will save you $50 off any of the large gardens. So go ahead and use that if you would like. This is the upstairs garden. So I think we need to go downstairs and take a look at the seedlings and the Aero Garden Farm Plus, which is actually going to be getting a cleaning out on one side. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apologize right now for the mess and the audio and the video because I'm downstairs in the basement. The furnace is right beside me. Um, I had a fan going too for the seedlings, but I turned that off. But I don't think it's going to improve it much. And it's all dark and dingy down here. But this is where I grow some of my other plants. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll see what's going on down here in the basement. So I'm going to be doing a video on growing mushrooms. I'm starting with a kit and I'll put the link to that above uh, once I've recorded that. But I'm also planning to put in a couple of grow tents down in the basement, one to grow just mushrooms in um, and the other one I'm gonna try making my uh, DIY hydroponic setup and also using it to start my seedlings. I maybe grow like a larger tomato during the winter and a pepper, but we shall see. For now, we just have the Euro Garden Farm Plus and a couple of grow lights. Okay, so first we'll start with the situation over here. I have one of the alpine uh, strawberries that I'm growing there. I'll move that outside. And then these are all the seedlings that I started the other day. I did a video. I did a plant with me video. I will link it up above. Um, and I was also kind of doing an experiment to see what worked better because on this side I had some incubator plugs and on the side I had the pro mix seedling starting mix with some vermiculite um, tomatoes I ended up putting more of the tomatoes into the grow pods and they are all doing well all of the tomatoes are up they definitely germinate faster than the uh, peppers do but one interesting thing I noted is I have in the incubators I have one two three four five six so I had six peppers of those four of the peppers have come up this entire side over here was peppers as well. And we've got, oh, one of the pepperoncinis is up and we have two of the orange spice that are up, but definitely the peppers seem to germinate faster in these incubator pods. So that was interesting to see. Um, at the back, I also have some parsley and some sage. They were also grown upstairs in the rice garden and transplanted. And actually, so was the strawberry. Over here, I don't know if you have seen my video on growing the um, trying to grow 21 year old tomato seeds. So um, if not, I will put the link up above. These are the ones I started in soil. 
Um, unfortunately, there is nothing going on yet that I can see. Um, I also have over here some that are just on paper towel. So we'll take a look at those. We're in a plastic bag upstairs in the bathroom. I actually moved them down here to put them on the heat map and I put them into a freezer bag to kind of keep the humidity um, a little better. So let me get these open and we'll see if we can see anything. So as I mentioned, I put a couple of the uh, mini bell peppers down here to try and get them to germinate. And so far, I am not seeing any rooting going on with these tomatoes, but we'll leave it a bit longer um, and keep checking on these. Honestly, I check these things about 10 times a day. Just hoping to see a root. As much as I check them constantly and I'm hoping to see a root forming on these, that's only the first step. So germinating is step one. If it doesn't have enough energy to get the root to form and get it or out of the seed case. Once that happens, there is still a huge jump to happen. It takes about 10 times more energy for it to actually sprout and create leaves and come out from above the soil. So step one, get the root. Step two, get it to actually sprout. So we'll see. We have to get past step one first and then we'll see what happens. But I am rooting for these tomatoes. Um, I just, I just want one. I'm not even greedy. Just one. Then I can get enough seeds that I can keep these things going. But for now, there's nothing going on. I will keep including updates on these uh, tomatoes in uh, future weekly garden updates. So down here, we have an onion update. Doing pretty good. Some germinated better than others. Um, Stoop gardeners are doing very well. So those are my onions. And then, so over here, we have a very old Thai basil and jalapeno. Um, this is actually going to be cleaned out because I'm going to be starting my seedlings over on this side of the farm. It is 478 days old, so it has definitely given me um, a lot of Thai basil and a lot of jalapenos. There's still some on there that are going red, so I will let those kind of wrinkle up a little bit more so I can save some more seeds. For the Thai basil, I'm actually probably going to take a cutting and root it to kind of keep it going. Moving over to the other side here, we have a strawberry that's just a regular strawberry. I have some other uh, bunching onions and down here too, because I do not want to go to the store and buy those. And then over here, we have something else we need to talk about. So I've got my little sticky trap here covered in some, some pests fallout from the Thai uh, tomato, Thai basil flowers. So, over here I have my eggplant, which was flowering somewhere over there. And you can see the leaves of the eggplant are kind of damaged. That damage that you're seeing on, that I was just showing you on the leaves of the eggplant is because I committed the cardinal sin, uh, one of the cardinal sins of gardening, and I brought dirt from outside inside. Don't do that. I know not to do this. And yet, I was excited because I got some seeds for some dragon tongue beans and some black turtle beans in an exchange. And I thought, oh, it'd be a great idea if I, you know, grew some of them inside uh, so I could let them dry out and have more seeds for next year. And it was the middle of winter, but it was, it was actually, we had a mild spell, so I was able to run outside and grab some dirt because I didn't have any potting mix or anything inside. And I thought, well, it'll be fine. It was not fine. So overwintering in that dirt were thrips. So I'm gonna do a whole separate video on that, but don't bring outside plants inside. Just keep it that way and don't get dirt from outside because bad things happen, or at least they can, and they did in my case. But things are under control now, so I was able to fix that issue, so yay. But so they also, at the back there, there was also two peppers. One was a black pepper and one was a du d'Espagne. Uh, they were, they didn't really do very well with the thrips, so we have to deal with all of that. But the eggplant is surviving. Okay, so that's it for the inside updates. Got my vest on, and now we will go for the outdoor updates. Not much going on, but there is some stuff. So let's go take a look. Okay, so outside in the garden, I've got some cardboard kind of laid down there. I'm just going to throw some wood chips on top of that for my walkway. Funny enough, I was out here and something, I noticed this the other day, 
something must have bedded down in my raised bed for the night, dug themselves a little hole. Um, no idea what it was, but yeah. What else do we have? So we have some carrots. Oh, something's been munching on my carrots. Interesting. Let me go around here. So you can see there were some carrots lobbed off. I'd hope they would overwinter, but they actually, there were two lobbed off tops here, but they managed to get them out. So apparently I'm feeding the neighborhood. Oh, there was another one. Okay, so what have I noticed going back here? The only thing we've got going on right now is we've got some buds starting to form on my blueberry. I have two different kinds. So I have this one, the Chippewa, um, which is your a regular blue one. But then I also, then I also finally got some of these, um, the pink lemonade blueberries. So, okay, so I have two beds at the side of the house. In here, we have some rhubarb that is starting to come up and also some grapevines. We need to actually prune these this year. We haven't really done that before. So if you have grapes and know how to prune them, please let me know down in the comments below because I'm scared I'm going to kill them um, because I've never I've never pruned grapes before. So let me know if you know how to do it. Okay, so this is my strawberry bed covered with some straw. Um, they were looking pretty weak at the beginning, but then they really started to come back. So hopefully that will be good. I also actually just finally got my hands on some pine berries. So I'm super excited. I'm going to be doing a whole post about those as soon as they come. Um, and then I will have to have a new pine berry bed. So this is all very exciting for me. So now let's go around the front and uh, see what's going on around there. I don't think there's much, but we'll go look. So that's my front bed in the gut in the front. And yeah. So that's my bed there. I had some uh, lemon balm and some mojito mint in there. And then what else do we have? Some sage. We had the trans the accidental transplant of the blackberry to the front, which also seems to be having some growth on it. There's a couple of blueberries here. I'm not sure how well they're gonna do, um, but we'll see if they come back. This is the, the second one. What we're actually going to be doing this year is actually putting in um, a new raised bed here. So this will kind of completely change. And then the biggest change will be, this is currently a flower garden. Um, this is actually going to be changed to another raised bed. So I'm going to get out all of these flowers in here. And this will be the last time that I do dig here because I'm going to be going to no dig. And I'll have a lot of the cucumbers and everything out front um, because I get a lot of sun here. So that's it for my week 11 garden tour video. Hopefully you guys enjoy these. I'll be doing them every week, um, hopefully uploading them on Sundays so you can see how things are progressing both indoors and outdoors. So until next time, just remember that gardening is a journey figuring out what works best for you and your garden. So until next time, make food grow.